Feature Friday. The freshest. Um, Valeska got recommended. Uh, Joey Ayala's sister. That's right. Um, and her name is Cynthia Alexander. She went to that famous show called Rappler. That sort of uh, Esmeralda team was there. I We've seen a bunch of people be there. Um, I know, I know. I said stapler last time. <laughs> stapler, <laughs> Rappler, Rappler. Yes. The I don't know why. I just <laughs> the people from Rappler <laughs> punching air. <laughs> punching air. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Let's give us a watch. We like their style, their family style. We do, we music. do. Mm hmm. Okay. Ooh, I love already. I woke up this morning, I was staring at the ceiling rise. And rolled up some landscapes and I wish I have seen. I have been new places far and They remind me of like a more mature version of uh, Tiny Habits. It reminds me a little bit of Alanis Morissette. work is really nice. Yeah, yeah, dog Damn. like what whoa, the whoa, fuck? The hell <laughs> whoa, damn, whoa, whoa. I have okay. Wow, here's the man. thing I love about that: the organic community feel of those. Again, I feel like it's just it. It, it was like a time capsule. You're like totally moved, removed from this reality, and you're back in the '90s. I I, I just had that. You're back. <laughs> The fact that anyone makes it is such a miracle, dude. Because it's right? like that there's way you're. So much. It's like there's obviously market for everyone, and it's not no, a competition. Correct. It's music. But I just mean it. Like, how are you gonna get the attention on any of anyone if everyone sounds like this? Like everyone sounds <laughs> this damn good. You know what's funny? It's like 
you know, especially because folk, this also folk sound. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not saying that, uh, you know, Cynthia, Ale Cynthia Alexander. Alexander is like the most popular singer in the world. It's like, she's not, but it's like, and the style itself may not be the most popular in the world. But I, I think ever since like the big boom of Moira in the Philippines, obviously we, we're at that era still um, of the singer songwriter. There is the new wave of Filipino music, which is the band uh, the the new OPM I guess which is you know the Dilaos the yeah. Lola Amours the uh, uh, Sunkist uh, Sunkist Lola too. Sunkist Lola um, the what what's the guys um, Enamori oh Timothy yeah Run. Timothy Run um, one click straight one click straight yeah. sealed Juan Carlos you do have a new OPM sound yeah. which is that because it's so it's so OPM you don't really have that in many other places. Mm -hmm. Because it's like a weird mix between like, I don't know, 80s rock and like... And it's not even 80s because sometimes it goes all the way back to the 60s. Yeah, it's really It's weird. like 60s influences coming through their music. But it bangs, right? Um, but it's phenomenal. So it's as if the, the Beatles had a baby with ACDZ. <laughs> oh my God, yes. And then, <laughs> but they were also born in the TikTok era. Oh, you know? yes. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like, it's fucking weird. It's awesome, this. But in terms of like the look and the, the art and mm -hmm. the, 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 the sort of the vibe behind it, musically though, it's like, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like a cold ass, it's a cold ass Coca-Cola on a hot, humid day. You know, one of them. That has still little bits of ice in the middle. Yes. That one that yes. makes you do that, right? Yes. Fantastic. You know what I'm saying? You know, your mouth is watering right now as you hear me speak. <laughs> Not sponsored by Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola Zero. No sugar. Same fantastic taste. You know, it'd be great. Coca-Cola, call, call me. I'll be more than happy to do <laughs> okay. the voice. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so that's what I think the new OPM sound is. Um, but we are definitely still in the era of the folk, singy, songy, acoustic. Here's here's my conclusion, though, Efra. I don't think there has ever been an era. I think it's a, it has always been a subgenre to whatever is happening outside in 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 the in the charts in the Philippines specifically. Mm. Ballads, singer songwriters have of always. Because ballads are not really a thing anymore in terms of the new ballads. You you do. But have... That's what I mean. But it has always been like. Even if even if the, the, the top chart says bloody bloody blah and so and so and so and these are the songs that are hitting, I feel like people still even even then mm -hmm. still listen to the the old OPM ballads and like the singer songwriters and Very the true. classics that have shaped basically the whole Filipino music industry. So I believe that the indie folk subgenre has always been there in mm. the market and there has always been a market for it well like if you listen to like Ebe Dancel right yeah yeah yes uh, Bullet Dumas right it's like what a what a like a find yeah. um yeah I guess you are right the indie folk scene has always yeah existed. it has always been there and I think you know you can even and 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 you go down this rabbit hole of artists like you listen to one and then more of them would be recommended as and it's phenomenal 